I am Victoria Echabu. I'm a lawyer. I have been working as a lawyer for more than 12 years now. My name is One Moja Meji. My friends call me One. I'm a registered estate surveyor and valuer. Uh, I have been practicing since 2010. Um, I love traveling, I love dogs, I love real estate, and I love maths. My core interests are entrepreneurship, real estate, commercial real estate, and I have been doing that since 2008. I met um, Victoria in 2012. I was just resuming as the marketing manager of a real estate development company headquartered in Lagos, but they needed somebody to head the Abuja team. So we were doing a residential estate, a, a pool, and uh, it was about 88 housing units. And so we got talking and she's like, how is it you know, that you're so interested in all of this? I mean, how do you sell these properties considering the market was tough and all of that. And I just know and said it was more of passion than anything else. You know, we exchanged contacts and before you know it, it was more than work for us and we just became friends. And at the time she left, I felt like I knew her forever. I've known her since 2012. I call her the magic fingers because she has this magic touch to real estate. She can sell just about any real estate. Meeting Une for the first time on my client's site was like meeting someone I wanted to be like. <laughs> Une is quite the marketer, I am not, even though I can sell many things by persuasion. And since then, we have shared lots of dreams together. So that's how long we've known each other. What inspired the F100? Um, hmm. Very interesting uh, question, actually. I had a lunch break um, another day, and uh, we're about rounding up sales about uh, eight months into the project of um, the estate. And so when she heard that I had almost sold out the estate, she was now like, wow, like, so how? How can we women be part of you know the real estate uh, market industry like there weren't female real estate developers around um isn't there something we could do you know so i like, yeah i've been thinking about it a lot too and you know and i think that um, together we was going to be more profitable to join forces than acting alone because real estate is capital intensive you have to have expertise and um the industry is it's not it's male dominated and uh, i just have to say and it would be fresh to have women acting in the same space the f100 limited was une and i giving flesh to the idea of women collaborating or being part players in real estate At the F100, we are organizing women to fund commercial and non-commercial real estate. So here's what we're doing. We have founded a housing cooperative to cater to home ownership, not only for women, but also young people, workers generally. Uh, so we get to help them save money to meet their housing goals. Mm -hmm. We also have a second product, which we have called the Graces. The Graces is a product that caters to providing, helping people own, co-own um, service apartments for rental income. And then finally, our flagship product, the Ile Ologo Resort. That is our resort and residence style product where we are collectively investing to fund a resource. We currently have Ile Ologo at Iware 
do or your states. In addition to what Victoria has said earlier about our flagship project in Iware, the Iliogologo Resort is located on 30 acres of forest land, which is uh, 45 minutes from the University of Ibadan and just about 30 from the Monia uh, train station in um, Oyo State. The idea behind it is to be a go-to spot, get weekend getaway, the forest resort, health management, and host of um, co-working startup. During the lockdown, we successfully raised over $80,000, which is the equivalent of over 30 million Naira at the time. And we're still raising more. Um, we currently have 18 investors, both female and male, 16 female investors and two male investors for all these projects that we have outlined earlier. So that's what we're doing. What the future holds for us as a group and as co we will be working together on this project and other commercial real estate um, for the next five, 10 years. We intend to not just work in Nigeria, but other um, African countries. We want to fully develop the Leo logo as we have dreamed it to be. And from there, we're moving to coastal communities within Nigeria, such as Uyo. And we are looking at other places in Africa, Togo, Rwanda, probably next year. <laughs>